And uh, let's get to it, Rob. I- interesting story uh, coming out of, of ESPN today. And uh, our man Bill Barnwell who does a great job there covering the NFL. He, he did a deep dive into players on each team that he thinks have a chance to make the Hall of Fame. He ranked them as locks, as likelies, um, and in the running, and work to do. Now, among the locks, I'm going to throw out these names to you, and the last one is going to puzzle you a bit. Ben Roethlisberger, J.J. Watt, Jason Witten, Adrian Peterson, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Larry Fitzgerald, Aaron Donald, and here it is, the shocker, Patrick Mahomes. Two years as a starter, three years in, and Barnwell says if he retired today, he would be a Hall of Famer. Rob Parker, your well, opinion. I, I, I'll let you I'll let you have it because I, I, <laughs> I just think uh what what's the guy's name, the reporter? Bill Barnwell. Yeah. Bill just had nothing better to do uh today or to add to this. I I just think it's so premature to say that if he did nothing else, we don't know what else happens. What happens if uh Lamar Jackson uh during this during the Mahomes era of NFL football wins three or four Super Bowls and Mahomes starts to lose in the postseason or doesn't make the playoffs six years in a row or, or whatever. To say after two years he's in the Hall of Fame, I, I just don't see it. I, this is what I'm talking about with premature just – this is the world we live in. They, they just want to crown everybody. I get it. He won a, a Super Bowl. He won an MVP. But to say his work is done after two years, I, I, I think that's – I think it's a stretch. This is interesting because you presented something that I think is true. You, you painted – you know, they missed the, the playoffs the next six years. Uh, Lamar Jackson takes over and changes the game. Say Lamar wins four or five Super Bowls in a row. I'm just saying well, during that it, era, but he, would, it, he wouldn't I, look as good. I'm just, it, it, would, it would take something away because everybody had already crowned uh, Pat Mahomes, and then if if it was the other quarterbacks, you would look at. I'm just saying, like say Lamar won three or four, Deshaun Watson, or or I'm a Tua won two in Miami, and he's still sitting on the one. Does he look as good? Do you see what I'm saying? Well, Ten years yeah, I from think now? it would depend on what he did. Like if he, let's say he continued to light it up individually, but they just didn't win, and he, it was more like an Aaron Rodgers situation. He'd be in. Now, he wouldn't be the GOAT. He wouldn't be, you know, all that people have thought he could be at this point, including myself, but he'd still be in if he puts up those numbers. But here's the point I was trying to make. You bring up an interesting point, Rob, because Barnwell said if Mahomes retired today, and I don't, he didn't say this, but I'll throw this in too. If he got hurt, let's say the first game next year, God he gets forbid. hurt and doesn't right. God forbid and doesn't play again. Would he? He's saying he would be in the hall. You and and I. I think the interesting thing is this: if he, let's say, he decided to walk away and try his hand at baseball, I think with what he's done, while it sounds ridiculous, if he walked away from the game today with all these all. Ready, excuse me, accomplished. You probably would say, I think what he's done, he would be in the hall, but hear me out. If he continues to play, though, and for the next 10 years just falls off the map, like he, he's not as good. Next year, they don't make the playoffs. His numbers, you, you mentioned his numbers went down last year. They stay down. Like, to me, he has a better chance – if he could, if he continues to play, I agree. We don't know yet if he's a Hall of Famer. We he's certainly on that trajectory, but let's see what happens. But if he retired today for whatever reason, or you know injuries didn't play again, God forbid, I think what he's done already would certainly warrant serious Hall of Fame 
consideration. That's different from you, he's but a you hall, see what I'm saying. That, but that's different from that's not what what well, the writer said. He said he's in the Hall of Fame no matter what. And I, no, he I, didn't say that. He said I think he, well, he said he's a lock. So I guess you can look at it different ways. He just said the, it right. To me, the strongest because I, he said if he re, direct quote if he retires today, he's a Hall of Famer, and I would agree just because he's what he's done. The youngest ever to win the Super Bowl MVP, the youngest ever to win regular season MVP and a Super Bowl, the only quarterback ever to lead a team back from three double-digit deficits in the playoffs. He did it. He was 5-0 and in those situations last year. And so if he walked away or just couldn't play anymore, then, yeah, I'd say, you know what, it was brief, but my goodness, he was so fantastic, you'd have to throw him in. But to your point, if he continues to play, we don't know what's going to happen. Now, I, I'm on record. He, he, you know he that. Wouldn't get, saying he I wouldn't, think he's going to be great. But if he continues get, to play and falls off, then, yeah, he, he's got room to fall off. He, he, would, he wouldn't get my vote after two seasons, no matter how spectacular, to be in the uh, Hall of Fame. I just think that there's a body of work. And a lot that goes into it when I look at a Hall of Famer and being able to sustain something excellence. And that's not to take anything away from what he's done. I, I just I, I, I don't know if I would be able to really say uh, off of two years, he's a Hall of Famer and other guys were put in 10, 15, 17 years and, and had a, uh, a degree of excellence in their career um, that that. I, I wouldn't count that. I think that there's some of that. And if he were to quit, obviously, I think that would hurt him. Like, say, if he quit, I don't think people would be like, you want to celebrate him and call him this great uh, NFL quarterback. No matter what he's done, he would be looked at. I, I think some people would hold that against him. Say, if he quit and never played again, not not that that's going to happen. But I don't know. I don't I don't think I, I, he would get my vote off for two years. Yeah, I, I think with what he's done – I, I hear you because it, it sounds ridiculous that somebody could be in the Hall of Fame off of two years. But I think, again, if he, if he retired and tried, like I said, tried baseball or, you know, whatever, for religious reasons or, you know, just whatever, decided he didn't want to play anymore, then I think what he's done, I think it needs to be like what he's done is put him in the, the class of the best to ever do it just for those two years. But if he I, I agree with your premise that if he keeps playing, we just don't know exactly what's going to happen. When even when I say I think he's Jordan esque, I think he has a chance to be the GOAT. Yeah, I'm projecting that he continues to play at the level he's playing at or, or even gets better. But we don't know. There's a chance he doesn't do that. But how many quarterbacks have we seen that happen to, though? Or he could get hurt and have a serious injury, and he comes back and still can play, but he's not the same quarterback. You know, like we talked about Grant Hill and the NBA and, and all of that stuff. But I, I, I'm i fine with Barnwell saying it if he retired or didn't play again. But yeah, I'm gonna, you're I'm right gonna, in that gonna, if he doesn't. Like Gail Sayers. Gail Sayers had, like, five really good seasons. That's it. Tiny Archibald had four, like, top flight seasons. Now he went to Boston I'll, and won I'll the championship. You, I'll give you a better one. Don Mattingly with the Yankees had four of the best seasons you could have at the plate. I mean, his numbers are – go look at Don Mattingly's numbers. He's not a Hall of Famer because he couldn't sustain it, and then he wound up having like a back injury. So that's what I'm trying to say is you could have those numbers. Go back. If you go back, dial back to the 80s, those four straight years, you would have said Don Mattingly's a lock to be in the Hall of Fame, Chris. But, if, but, but once his back, you know, kind of gave out on him, and obviously you can't hit with, without your and back. And you know in New York it, it changed hurts everything. you don't win a World Series. Well, and he, and he never – right, he right. didn't win. We, yeah. But I'm just saying his numbers, though – for those four years, right, were unbelievable. Won an MVP, and, right. But see, and I'm what I agree with you on that, Rob. Like, if Mahomes is going to play the next 10, 12 years, then yeah, he could fall off, and maybe he wouldn't be a Hall of Famer. Like I'll say it this way: 
If he has, say he plays the next 10 years and just isn't that good, he's a mediocre quarterback, which I don't think will happen, but let's say he's a mediocre quarterback. They never win another Super Bowl. They may get to the playoffs here every now and then, but, you know, he doesn't really light anything up anymore. Then I would agree with you, he probably wouldn't be a Hall of Famer. But right, if he, because people if he would never, look at it right. and go, like, okay, that was flukish. They had this team. They had all these people. All the pieces were there. He just they fell came off. back. Yeah. They had a magical season, and then they never got there again. I, I, I think mean, people like, like would look I'm at one it. of the rare ones, and maybe again because it's the Basketball Hall of Fame, which is you know it's not as difficult to get in. I I have serious. And I'm willing to discuss it, because, I, but I, I, I don't think anymore, I don't think of Dwight Howard as a Hall of Famer. And I think a lot, I know he was great for the first half of his career. It was about eight years. He was fantastic. But he but fell off so bad. So, yes, and he's played that, half his career as a mediocre player. Well, but, that, but that's part of the Hall of Fame thing. I, I agree with that. When you think of Dwight's career, it's it, it's like he bounced around the teams. Teams didn't always get better. I think he wasted uh, years. He, he his career. He was on a he was on the track to be a great pace, player for sure. Of and a lot of people I mean, say he's all. They when still they beat, throw him in there and say he's going to be when they all beat the same. LeBron and that team. You remember that it was supposed to be LeBron and Kobe that year. Yeah. And and that team with Dwight Howard and Turk Glue and who else was on there and um, Skip to Malou. Yeah, and that team went to the finals, and he was always I thought, in the MVP. I thought they won their. I thought year. they won their way. I thought yep. they had a squad together. I thought Dwight Howard was a great piece, and and that whole thing blew up, and and he's never been the same. But see, here's the thing, and this is what I'm saying: What if after Orlando, instead of going to the Lakers, or even after his one season with the Lakers, if he just retired? You know, he's silly. He say, oh, I want to be an actor, and he retires. He would have been a Hall of Famer at that point. But now that he's played it out and hasn't looked that good, there's the question mark. So that's where I'm at. If, if, if for whatever reason Mahomes couldn't play again, I do think what he's done, while brief, has been so spectacular, I think he'd be in. All right, let's start with uh, Keno in Florida. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Keno? Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? How are you? Good. I think Patrick Mahomes is definitely a Hall of Famer if he was to go in right now. If right. Terrell is Davis he... is a Hall of Famer, is Terrell Davis a Hall of Famer? Terrell Davis has uh, – you. oh, you're talking about the running back. I was thinking Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He got, no, that's the, like I brought up Gail Sayers. There have been guys that had, for whatever reason, had their career cut short. Not this short, <laughs> but short – and uh, they got it in. That's why I, I agree. Do you agree, though, that, you know, if he plays another 10 years and, and just falls off the cliff, isn't that good, he's mediocre, then it's another well, story. Well, he should. Then he sh- yes, he should not get in for that. Right. But I also oh. think, what do you think about Andrew Luck? Andrew Luck can't be a Hall of no. Famer to yeah. me. I, I mean, say well, no. they didn't win anything either. It's not like he he had he's holding on to something. Right. Yeah, that would be hard for me. How about Tony? Luck. Tony in L.A., you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Tony? Hey, what's up, fellas? What's, what's up? up? Hey, so here's where I disagree with Barnwell. And, Chris, I hear you trying to be objective. I appreciate that. I'm going to be objective. This, I disagree with Barnwell on this point right here. Mahomes sat behind. He's been in the league three years. He sat behind Alex Smith. That is the same quarterback in San Francisco that Kaepernick put on the bench. What Mahomes did in two years, Kurt Warner did in one year, Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP, and one MVP. And here's the last thing. In the last 20 years, there's eight quarterbacks that have won one Super Bowl ring. Brad Johnson, Trent Dilfer, Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, Joe Flacco, Russell Wilson, Nick Foles, and Mahomes. Mahomes has the lowest quarterback rating of them all. So when they go to Disneyland, guess what? Mahomes is riding in the trunk. He need a little no, bit more time. I'm not saying that he's stop not going to be a Hall of Famer, but he need a little no, bit more time. Which know, one I, of those? Hold on, because Tony, Tony trying to come with all these numbers. And no, yeah, that's fair. I, but, Tony, which one of those quarterbacks you named threw for 50 touchdowns in their first year as a starter? Come on, man. Or 5,000 yards. You, oh, oh, you're oh, talking oh, about 50 touchdowns. Okay, on, listen. Man. So, let me ask you this. Let me ask or you this. Or 5,000 yards. One of them had, which one of them has had a drop-off in production of 50% the next year? 
It wasn't fifty percent. He was hurt. He missed two games. So it wasn't fifty percent. When you look at the numbers, no, not really. Twenty-six is not fifty percent. Yes, it's almost. Okay, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me redo it. Forty-eight. Forty-eight percent. Yeah, probably about forty percent. It was a in big term, drop off. In terms off. of touchdowns, not and, in terms and, of yardage. And, and, and not even in terms the, of yardage. And, and even the injury thing, Drew Brees had more and played uh, oh, that's fine, three but or four games year left. He doesn't, doesn't can't be to, about just injury. You can't use that. He won a game against the, the Lions he got hurt, with no touchdowns. Super Bowl. No, I get y'all it. Y'all forgetting that. Y'all... Y'all burying the lead. But that doesn't lead. trump everything. Nice try, Brett, Tony. Brett, nice no, try. great, great call, Tony. My man does his homework. Brett in Florida, you're on the Odd no, Couple didn't. Fox Sports Radio. He was selective. What's up, Brett? What's up, fellas? Love the show. Thank um, you. Hey, really, the argument is coming down to short-time greatness to longevity. So, you know, everyone's bringing up all these other players. What about someone like Frank Gore, you know, one of the all-time leading rushers? You know, he's been good, you know, Pro Bowl or whatnot. But he's, you know, one of the all-time leading rushers. But that man's like 40 years old. You know what I'm saying? He's amazing. He's amazing to me. But I'm saying that's really what y'all's argument comes down to. You know, short-term greatness, you know, or long, you know, longevity, putting up numbers. So what's your point? Would would, if Mahomes retired today, does he get in the Hall of Fame? No. He's got to have some longevity. I I think you have to do it for a long period, a longer period of time, where people say this dude was unbelievable. But they're Uh, already saying that about him. Yeah, but it's still short.